Hey everyone, welcome back to Robot Boy. Before we begin, please help me out by subscribing to the channel and giving this video a thumbs up, it will really help me out. So today we'll quickly be learning how to stabilize footage in Adobe Premiere Pro. Unlike other programs like Final Cut Pro, there's not an obvious stabilize footage button in Premiere. Instead, your port of call here is the warp stabilizer. So here we have some slightly shaky footage that would look a lot more cinematic and professional if it were a nice smooth motion. So here we're going to the effects tab and search for warp stabilizer and we're going to drag and drop that onto our footage. For footage like this, where there isn't too much wobble already, we should be able to just hit analyze and it should be all right. When we play through our footage, we see now that it's a nice smooth motion. We can adjust the smoothness and stability of the shot in greater detail. So if your footage isn't moving too much at all and you want it to look like it's just a tripod or completely still shot, you can do that, which is pretty cool. If your footage is overly shaky, however, you may get extreme distortion from the stabilizer, which is not pretty and just looks a bit horrible. If you are going for completely stable footage and your shot is too shaky, you can play around with these settings to see if you can fix it, but just bear in mind that some footage is just not fixable. If you don't have a physical stabilizer or shoulder rig, I definitely recommend getting one of Amazon, even a cheap one, just for like 40 quid. It's definitely worth it. However, if you find that you're in a spot where you don't have one, uh, you can't afford one, or it's just not available to you, just try your absolute best to keep the camera as steady as possible on set. The more help that you give the software to work with, then the better the warp stabilizer can help you back. And that's it guys. If this video was helpful, please input a like and subscribe for more easy straight to the point tutorials. I will leave a screen like this up at the end of videos in case you're in a rush and need a quick visual aid. So that's it, I'll see you next time on Robot Boy.